Let's look at a couple of different ways that we can convert using the object browser. And by a couple, I mean many, many. So if we go into our MS Core Lib, and then we look at System, and then we scroll down and we can find the class Convert, we see a whole list of ways that we can convert from one base type to another base type. So by base type, I mean if you want to convert to a Boolean, for example, System.Boolean then you can use the to boolean function and you'll see that these classes have different ways that we can actually access this. We'll see how and why this is possible when we look at classes but the reality of what it does is if we want to be able to convert a system date time for example to a boolean we know that this is going to return a boolean system.boolean because it's saying to boolean so we're going to make sense of this gigantic list of types here. Very easy to see that. As we scroll you can see the different types come all in a row. To single and then you have all the different ways to convert from one base type to the next from something to a single. For example to single we have system date time again. We have the bool. We have the string, decimal, double, float, u long, long, u int. Whatever you need you can convert it. And what you need to do is you actually have to just look at the first section here. To single knowing that that's going to be system.single, as you can see down here. So if we wanted to convert, just take an example here, to in 32 from a string, let's see how that one works. We can right click, copy, and we'll go to our class here. Just created a regular project. You can just do that. A regular console application, new project, and then do console application as we're used to. So we'll get rid of this. We'll paste in our function. And we'll open this with a bracket. And we'll see that we have 19 different things we can do here. So you can see all the different types that we can insert there. And this is the type. And then this is just the value. When you look at normally how you create classes, you'll see that later as well. But we've seen it already. So we're going to convert a string. So we'll just put our string in here. And we don't have to actually create a whole bunch of lines here. We'll do everything here on one line. Make it easier. And then we'll test. We succeeded. Debug. Start with debugging. And then you see we have the value 2 there. So it was able to convert that from the string 2 to our int 32 2 as well. Let's try another example. And if you just backspace here, put the open bracket again, you'll see that you can actually convert in. Get this list again. And we're going to insert a bool value. We'll put in false, and we'll try to debug this. We get errors. Let's see what happens. We forgot something. Ah, we forgot our close bracket. Not a big deal. Now we'll do it again. There you go. So now we're converting to that old style way of pointing out that this is false. So false is zero, and let's put in true. And we'll just close this. Press any key. Debug start without debugging. There you go. One. So the old style way that true is going to equal the one value. So we convert it from a boolean and a string. You can convert as complex as you want to to any type that we want. And there you go. Did it again. We just didn't have to fully qualify the name there. Convert system.convert because we're using the system namespace. No big deal. Note that we can't do it this way because it doesn't know in this namespace it can't find that. So you have to fully qualify it up to the point of the class. You don't have to fully qualify it with the namespace. You do have to qualify it with the 
class name within the system namespace because it's able to find that for you. And you can use this as you want to, like I said, within the object browser. There are many, many different ways. You're going to be using this quite a lot to convert based on your needs. It's really easy to get used to. You can just use the name here. This is the .NET name for the types, the base types. And you just have to get used to the chart that I did mention earlier when we talked about the types. And that's what you're going to use. 2, capital T, and then the type. N64, S-byte, whatever it is, based on the .NET type name.